feel this way forever. I'm in the shacks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the children sword, a one-handed sword, which is one of the best weapons to get at level one, because it has a base damage of 15, which is the same amount as a the base damage of a dragon bone sword, and this what makes it even stronger is this has a special power enchantment to it, which it gives it plus 30 points of frost damage and it also has a chance to paralyze enemies which is what makes it really good. This a man approaches with his So what you want to do is travel off to Riften and turn left and there will be a gate closed here but all you can do is just open it. You just turn right and then there is a fast way if you just take this weird barrel and bring it up there but I'm just going to do the easier way so what you want to do is just walk straight over here. You see this gate over here and with the weird barrel you can't you can put it here and just jump over the gate, but I'm just going to pick it. So once you get past this gate, you're going to see this barrel right here, and you're just going to want to jump on top of it. And then once you jump on to the barrel, you want to just jump onto the roof and just try to get higher. And what I do is just go left, right, and just jump. But what you want to do is line yourself up with that gate right there. Once you get on that gate, you should save, which is a good idea, which you want to save quite a bit sometimes. Once you get onto this roof, just walk across this building. It is kind of glitchy, but all you got to do is just try to get up which just spam the jump button and just try to get to your highest point of the roof which I just do is just walk left to right and it's the easiest way once you get on top of the roof you are going to want to go right here and jump down to this balcony Right here, I would recommend to save because there is another lock that you have to pick. Once you get in, there is going to be quite a bit of bandits. Huh? But you can just kill them. And just follow me where I go so you can get this. Lion, is someone there? Over here! Once you kill off the bandits, you just want to go downstairs. There's some things you can take if you want. What you do have to go is you just keep going down the stairs.
after you go here, you just want to open up this closet and keep going down. Once you're down here, you want to go through this tunnel and watch out for this for all the traps that are here. But you just want to watch out, turn left, and then just run through all these pressure plates so you don't get roasted. Watch out for this pressure plate as well. Running past these will be pretty easy. And they do barely any damage. What you want to do is take a left and go down here. And watch out for this door because there will be arrows. So. And finally you did it. Right past this door is the Chilrent which is another expert lock and I, what I forgot to say is you, if you want to do the thieves guild do not loot anything in this place because this is a part of the main que of a quest line in the thieves guild so do not loot unless if you don't want to do it just take whatever you want and yeah there is chest can read this book right here to get sneak. And there is a whole bowl of valuable loot. So to get to Radical Voice Vaults, all you want to do is just walk down that path. Or if you just want to exit out side you just go and follow back which we'll just jump down and you should know where to go then you should know how to escape from here stay out of trouble or there's gonna be trouble This weapon is also level based, but it is a really powerful one, especially to get at level 1. I forgot to say that this weapon does look like a glass sword. It is a glass sword, but with a blue, that's what makes it unique. So thank you all for watching, and um, hopefully you have a new weapon that you'll use for a bit.